Why are your router's aerials actually movable? And does it actually make any difference whatsoever to your Wi-Fi and your internet speed? And if they do, what's the best position? Should they all be up? Should they be down? Should some be down and some be up? Let's find out today. Break it down now, phone. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. These are the two types of routers or routers for my US friends that you typically get. You get one that looks like this, self-contained unit, in which case for you, I'm afraid, the only thing you can do is try to find the optimal position for this physical unit so it spreads this signal all around your location. But if you got one of these routers, well, today's test is gonna be pretty interesting. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so this is how we're gonna run these tests. You'll see, I'm gonna take my phone, go to a specific marker, which I've placed around the property, position number one. I'm gonna take a link speed test reading and a signal strength reading at that position. Now you can see negative 30, incredible speeds. As we go to negative 90, uh, not so much. So let's start off with test number one. In this particular test, my Linksys aerials are all in the vertical positions, all four of them. Let's take a quick reading in the room itself. And here we can see negative 20, pretty darn good. 780 megabits per second, cool. Right, let's head off to position number one. And here we go. So I'll drop my phone there. I let the phone normally rest and then I'll be able to take a reading. But you don't need to wait for this whole thing to happen. I'm just going to fast forward all this so that we can get this done as quickly as possible to get the result. Position number two is right here. And I'm going to take a reading here as well. At the end, I'll summarize all the readings just so that you can have a nice overview of what's going on. Let's go outside. This is the furthest point away from the router. This is position number three. And we're gonna take a reading here as well. Wow, two megabits per second, woohoo. Okay, let's head back inside to a critical position in my house. This is where I keep the PlayStation. This is position number four. And now let's take a reading there. Remember, the aerials are in the vertical positions for all these tests and a summary will be at the end. Okay, let's move on to test number two. Right, next test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the antennas from vertical to horizontal. Okay, that is the only change I'm making. Let's take our test and get a baseline reading right here. Anything interesting? Well, look at that, yeah. Look how it's fluctuating between negative 63 and negative 20. Wow, and I haven't even left the room. The only thing I did with this test was I just simply changed the position of those antennas from vertical to horizontal. Again, repeating the test at the various markers. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of the aerials and put them in the vertical position and two of them leaving them in the horizontal position. Will this make any difference at all on the signal strength? Again, same test, position number one, number two, number three, and then number four. And now we get to the good stuff where we start comparing. So what have we learned? Okay, so here are the results. So I'm comparing everything to the first test where the four antennas were vertical. Let's highlight where the speed actually increased compared to that first test. And then let's see where the speed decreased. And you can see I've highlighted those cells. So we can clearly see that simply changing the antenna's position from horizontal to vertical and a combination thereof really makes a difference to the speed. Now, how much of a difference? Well, that really depends on the position of the router, how far away you are from it. So go and experiment. And if you want more routers, tips and tricks and Wi-Fi and faster Wi-Fi and connectivity, check out these videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in those videos. Let's go.